And now, if you could all please rise for the singing of our national anthem. students. I'd like to welcome you all to the 2024 East Bridgewater Trium Music Honor Society Chapter 6103 Induction Ceremony. My name is Linda Massini Pavlov, Director of Music and Trium Chapter Co-Advisor. I'd like to also introduce Mr. Dan Hatchfield, our Band Director and Trium Co-Advisor. as well as Mr. Jake Slajewski, our newest member of the music team here at the Junior Senior High School. And now I would like to introduce Nicholas Jordan, our chapter president. Welcome everyone to this important occasion. Tonight we'll formally induct a large class of 14 music students to become active members of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. They have met the necessary Tri-M criteria and have accepted invitations for induction tonight. We will also recognize the continuing members of our chapter. At this time, I would like to introduce the student officers of East Bridgewater Chapter 6103. Chapter Vice President Llewellyn Gaffney. Chapter Secretary, Cassidy Jordan. <laughs> Chapter Treasurer, Daniel Kelly. <laughs> Chapter Historian, Patrick Spillane. <laughs> and our chapter, chapter Student Senate Representative, Leo Dante Alphonse. And now I would like to introduce Mr. Dan Hatchfield and the members of Brasanova. This is a small formatting error. Uh, so on trumpet we have White Francis and Salmata Gavizi. Your names are cut off, and I apologize for that. Nayara Miranda on French horn, Cassidy Jordan on trombone, and Daniel Kelly on two.
Thank you, Brasanova. I will now ask Llewellyn Gaffney, our chapter vice president, to present the candidates for student membership. These music students have been carefully selected on the basis of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Scholarship represents scholastic achievement and open-mindedness towards knowledge and truth. Character emphasizes a devotion to higher ideals and recognizes no barriers between people of diverse backgrounds. Leadership guides us to greater undertakings and service encourages assistance and kindness to others. We will now describe the meaning of the name Triam for the candidates for student membership. The name Triam was derived from the original name of our honor society, Modern Music Masters. Cassidy Jordan, our secretary, and Daniel Kelly, our treasurer, will speak of the first letter M, which signifies modern. That which is new in any age is called modern. It is only in looking back that descriptions such as old, classical, or romantic are given to those art forms that had formerly been accepted as modern. Let us remember that we should study the past to effectively plan for our future. This is a youth organization, and with each succeeding year, its membership will be made up of young people such as you. Therefore, our honor society will never grow old, but will be eternally modern. The second letter, M, signifies music. Patrick Spillane, our chapter historian, and Leo Dante Alphonse, our student senate representative, will explain this second symbol. According to the Random House Dictionary of the English language, music is the art of sound that expresses ideas and emotions in significant form through the elements of rhythm, melody, harmony, and color. Music was present even before there was written language, and from that time to the present it has been a source of communication. Music is the universal language. The third letter, M, signifies masters. In the art fields, the custom has been to give the title of master to those who have achieved a high degree of proficiency. You have met the criteria as a Tri-M candidate for student membership. As masters, you now have increased your opportunities to serve your school and community. A member of the Tri-M Music Honor Society is one who sets a good example, is always willing to assist those students who are striving to better themselves in the music department, and always remembers the real honor, that, that real honor brings responsibility. May you accept this honor of membership and the responsibility that is now vested in you and wear your pin emblem with pride. I would now like to introduce Mr. Michael Cassano, our invited distinguished guest speaker at tonight's ceremony. Mike Cassano is a drummer, producer, writer, educator, and DJ based in the Boston area. Mike graduated from East Bridgewater High School with the class of 1996. He then attended Berklee College of Music from 1996 to 2000 and has since performed and or recorded many famous people and groups. He co-leads Mike and Joe's big band with his father, trumpeter Joe Cassano. Mike has opened for such acts as Brandy Carlisle, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and comedian Steve Sweeney. Mike was featured in Drum Magazine and has written articles for Modern Drummer Magazine. Mike provides online instructional content through his Barn Drummer website. He also leads his own original projects. Mike has over 24 years of experience teaching private and group drum lessons percussion ensembles, marching band drum lines, jazz rhythm section clinics, and master classes. For more info, visit mikesano.com and barndrummer.com. All right. All right. Thank you, King Nick, for the plug. I appreciate that. All right, so I'll try to keep it short. I got it down to 22 minutes. Hopefully that's okay. So, oh man, I wasn't sure, it, oh, first of all, thanks for having me speak, and congratulations to all the Tri-M, old and new members. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what to say, you know, but um, I'm going to talk about East Bridgewater music, which has been obviously a huge part in my life, going all the way back to uh, Dan Lasdow, 
who was the band director here for at least 30 years, I believe. And he created this, you know, unbelievable place um, for kids to go and um, this great community right here in the high school. And I also got to shout out uh, John Fantuccio, who I had in middle school, um, Scott Walker, Sharon Bell, Bill Solari, uh, Jerry Morano, who was the jazz band teacher way back when, um, and also um, a couple of the percussion instructors with the marching band, Bill Carnes and Greg Gazzola. All those people were huge uh, in my life, you know, early on with music. So I didn't actually get into the marching band myself until I was a sophomore in high school. I jumped on the bass drum and uh, we competed. I marched on Nickerson Field with the band and that was great. And um, of course did concert band, jazz band, you know, all the bands I could do um, because I was not very good at baseball. I would have loved to have played baseball in high school, but, but I stunk. <laughs> so anyway, music is such a great place to put your energy. It's such a positive place. And um, being in a band or an ensemble or whatever, you know, it teaches you so much. And I'd like to talk about, I guess, some of the things that I've learned over the years and the things that I think are really important. And, um, you know, music teaches you a lot of things like, you know, got to be on time, be dependable, be reliable. You know, I know great musicians that they play really great, but you don't know when they're going to show up for the gig. Or when the gig's over, you know, they're just going to pack up and get right out of there. So I'd rather call somebody, maybe they don't play quite as good, but they're going to show up on time and they put in a, you know, a lot of energy and effort. So those things are important, you know. It's not about being the most talented or the best or the fastest or whatever, but, you know, showing up on time and, and caring and all that stuff is real important. Another thing that I think music has definitely taught me is to trust your intuition, your awareness, and like your instincts. And I call it like the musical radar. Like when I'm playing or whatever, I'm, anything that happens, any, everything that's played, I'm instantly checking that out. Is it in time? You know, how is it played? What intent is it played with? You know, is it, and, and all that stuff. So it really teaches you to be really aware of what's going on around you and how to play with other people. You know, there has to be an agreement going on on stage in order to make the music sound good. Um, so these are all things that you can apply directly to anything you want to do in life and not just music. Um, so another thing I think is important to mention, and, and this has direct ties to music, I guess, is you know comparing yourself to other players. You know, maybe there's somebody that's younger than you that, that maybe they play a little bit better for whatever reason. Maybe they've been playing longer or they just, it doesn't even matter why, but I just want to point out a, a quick uh, thing, and, and that would be that, you know, Tony Williams, the great jazz drummer, when he was 17, he was playing with Miles Davis and innovating on the drum set. And then uh, Steve Gadd, another drummer who's equally as famous, he didn't really start making waves until he was about 30 years old. And he's one of the, you know, the greatest drummers of all time as well. So everyone develops at their own pace. You know, you're supposed to have your life, like, figured out when you're 18 and you're going to go to college and you're going to do this. And maybe, you know, I guess I did. Fortunately, I, I guess I did have my, my path set out for me. But, you know, not everybody does. I would say most of us don't. I know many, many people that get a degree in something and now they're doing something else. So, you know, be patient with yourself that you're, you're on your own path. It, it could be music or, you know, whatever else that you want to do in life. The other thing that... Um, that um, I guess I thought about a lot, especially when I was first going to Berkeley, a few people close to me would say, oh, it's going to be really competitive. There's a lot of competition. And yeah, I guess that's true, you know. But I always did this just because I loved it. I wasn't, and it never really made sense to me, like, to think about competing. Now, of course, there are situations where you're trying to audition for a gig or, you know, you always want to strive to be, you know, better and better and better. But I just do this because I just enjoy it. I don't need to be, you know, the next Buddy Rich or, or Dave Weckl or, or whoever. I'm just doing this because I love to do it. And you're going to get where you want to go with that type of, you know, thought process and energy. So don't worry too much about the competition part of it. Just, you know, work on you and your path. Um, so when one of my students graduated high school a few years ago, I put together this thing on, like, being a professional because he was going to go out into the world and maybe start doing some gigs and so I'll run through a couple of the things. I just really randomly just wrote out a few things about, you know, being a professional. And this can apply a lot to music or any other profession. Um, so don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. 
um, be aware of your weaknesses, things that you can't do and things that you want to be able to do, things that you should be working on. I always tell my students, when I practice, I sound terrible because I'm working on things that I can't do. There's plenty of things that I can't do still. Um, another thing that's important, I know these are kind of, I'm going through some random things, but put your phone away. You know, if I'm going to be doing a rehearsal in a couple weeks with someone I've never worked with before, the last thing I'm going to do is, you know, take out my phone and, and do that. That's like, you know, really disrespectful, and it just tells people right off the bat that you're not as important as what I might have going on here. So, you know, think about that as, you know, put your phone away in, in a lot of those situations. Uh, let's see, what else? Be prepared. If you have a rehearsal, show up to the rehearsal ready to perform the music. I always say, I show up to rehearsal like I'm going to play this stuff at Carnegie Hall tonight. You know, you want that level of preparation. Don't be the one that shows up and you haven't really checked out the music. You know, that's really lame. Um, the other thing I would say is when you find something like, you know, I've been doing the drums for over 40 years, don't get burned out. Have some other things to get away from music for a minute. At least that, that's, you know, how I feel. I know some people just practice hours and hours and hours and they can handle that. But I think most of us uh, mere mortals need a break. And I think that's why I love fantasy football so much. It just kind of takes my mind. Now I'm over here, you know, somewhere. So uh, a couple other quick things. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Um, don't be afraid to just put yourself out there. Wh wherever you're at right now, that's where you're at and just go for it. And don't be afraid to fail. You know, failure is part of, of all of our, you know, journeys in our lives. So, and one more thing um, would be, don't plan everything out in advance, you know, especially if there's any improvised music going on. Figure it out when you get there, and um, a lot of great things can happen. So, anyway, I want to thank MP so much. Give it up. She's doing such a great job upholding the tradition of excellence. Mr. Hatchfield, we've had so many great times together with the marching band. So many laughs. And when I first started teaching uh, the marching band drum line, there was someone named Brandy Lane was the drum major. I want to shout out Miss Lane, doing a great job keeping the marching band going. Yep. Also, Mr. S is standing right over here. Great to work with him. He's doing awesome work with the marching band. And I'm not sure if she's here, but Miss G as well, Miss Garland. I don't think I forgot to mention anybody, but thank you guys so much for having me. I miss you guys doing the marching band, and good luck to you all. It's a great day to be a Viking. Thank you. I'd like to personally thank Mike, or Mr. Cassano. Um, I, I worked with Mike very long ago, and you know he's taught me so much about the drums, so I'd just like to say thank you for everything you've done for this school. So at this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Jake Slijeski, who will introduce another group. Hi, everyone. At this time, I'd like to introduce the high school jazz combo. And combo members, you could start making your way up as I talk about you. This is one of my, f <laughs> this is one of my favorite groups at the high school because it is a completely student-run group. Um, I will wave to him at some point, but I'll introduce the student leader right before they perform. This group meets and rehearses on their own. They pick their own repertoire, and they work to perform at the concerts at the same concerts that you would see the high school band, the high school chorus, etc. They're a really strong group of musicians that work together to learn the roots of improvisation and playing as a small group. And I think in a few short weeks, they've really come together with something special for all of you. I know he's still setting up, but I'd also like to shout out the group's leader this year in his first year serving as combo leader, Mr. Daniel Kelly, playing bass. We'll play one chart for you right now, and they will also play the recessional as you'll head out for the evening.
Thank you, Combo. Now, our Vice President, Llewellyn Gaffney, will explain the meaning of the Tri-M Membership Emblem. The Tri-M Emblem was designed to symbolize the function and purpose of the Honor Society. The music staff, the lyre, and the scroll represent the members' proficiency and service in the field of music. The triplet figure in the form of an M symbolizes the three M's in the name Modern Music Masters, from which the Society's name was derived. I would like to lead the inductees in the Tri-M Pledge. This is the Tri-M Pledge to show your willingness to carry out the principles of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Will the new inductees please rise? We, the members of the East Bridgewater Music Department, In order to foster a greater continued interest, in order to foster a greater continued interest, and a desire for excellence in music performance, and a desire for excellence in music performance, to encourage appreciation, to encourage appreciation, and awareness in listening to music, and awareness in listening to music, to promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music. Both within our school and within our community, to advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge, and to enhance the reputation of our school as a center for musical enrichment, accept this honor now granted to us. Inductees, you may be seated. It is our pleasure to present each of you with your Tri M pin. When I call your name, please approach our president to receive your pin and then take your place on the Coral Risers. These candidates for student membership have qualified to become new members of the Tri M Honor Society. William Safrino, pinned by pinned by his mother. Sophie Coates, pinned by her father. Olivia Donovan, pinned by her father.
Wyatt Francis, pinned by his mother. Salmata Gabisi, pinned by her parents. Jay Hartsgrove, pinned by his mother. Jasmine Haynes, pinned by her father. Ainsley Hyde, pinned by her mother. Nayara Miranda, pinned by her mother. Nicholas Pino, pinned by his mother.
Aaliyah Quintana, pinned by her mother. Brandon Cirrus, pinned by his mother. Lily Turner, pinned by her mother. And last but not least, Riley Wasik, pinned by her parents. It is my pleasure to read the congratulatory message from the Triam Honor Society National Leadership to the new members of Chapter 6103. Dear inductees, congratulations on your induction into the Triam Music Honor Society. Your nomination for membership is based on your musician sorry, your, is based on your mu musicianship, academic qualification, and demonstrated leadership. You may take great pride in this achievement which unites you with thousands of other student members throughout the world. As you were instructed during the ceremony, we should study the past to effectively prepare for our future. With that thought in mind, you are now in the unique position of being able to pass on the torch of your musical knowledge to colleagues and future beneficiaries of musical arts. May you wear your triumph pin with pride and dignity as you continue to demonstrate the value of music in your life and share your gift with your school and community. Welcome to the Triumph family. And at this time, I am going to introduce our co-advisor, Mr. Dan Hatchfield. So as we have the new inductees up here, we're gonna bring the current members as well as the 
<clears throat> uh, everybody in Triumph on stage here as well, the officers. That's what I was looking for. So the following students will continue their membership in the Triumph Music Honor Society and will remain distinguished members of Chapter 6103. Please come, up to the uh, please come up to the stage when your name is called. Chapter President, Nicholas Jordan. <laughs> Chapter Vice President, Llewellyn Gaffney. <laughs> Chapter Secretary, Cassidy Jordan. <laughs> Chapter Treasurer, Daniel Kelly. Chapter Historian, Patrick Spillane. <laughs> Chapter Student Senate Representative, Leodante Alphonse. <laughs> and the current members, could Emre Barboza come on up? <laughs> Joseph Jarvio. Nathan Keeney, Donovan Lancaster, Orson Lizzie, Ainsley Orofino. Lucy Shaw, and Alana Stanley. On behalf of the East Bridgewater Tri-M Music Honor Society, I would like to thank our chapter advisors, Mrs. Massini Pavlov and Mr. Hatchfield, Mrs. Lejewski, our distinguished guest speaker, uh, Mr. Cassano, and Principal Mr. Silva, Superintendent Ms. Legault, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Williams, Assistant Principal Mr. Walsh, Head of Student Affairs Ms. Anderson, the Tri-M officers, the student performers, East Bridgewater Music Parents Association, EBCAM and all the Triumph members who have contributed to this induction ceremony. And I would like to thank Nicholas Jordan, Triumph President. Thank you all for coming tonight. Please join us in the lobby for some refreshments following the recessional. Thank you so much to our East Bridgewater Music Parents Association for providing tonight's refreshments and the corsages for all of our new inductees. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Slujewski. One last time, I'd like to welcome the jazz combo back for one last, one last tune. Please feel free to make your way out during the recessional. Thank you so much for coming and have a great evening.
Thank you.